last time on the hardest nuzlocke in the world. Wallahi. So we picked the green bike because, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like the color of weed. <laughs> and on our way to Shallow City, where we see another weird sight. We got a surprise visit from Corinna, so we hit her Lucario with the Pascal Siakam special. Real ones, no. But the next rap means a new Pokemon, where we get some more juicer choices to make. Oh boy. But this decision was tough to be honest. I had to narrow it down by eliminating non-options. Vaporeon would mean a third water type, and I can't do that. I don't particularly like coughing or wheezing. Now, we might need a fire type, but I personally feel Houndoom is a bit overused, so not Houndour either. And for the final two, it just came down to type effectiveness. So we chose Darumaka, who won't help us at first, but just like open world Pokemon, it'll come good eventually. And he's also called Rolly Polly, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. We also happened to recover a fossil on the next route, which I recovered and got a... Oh, shit. Well, look, I don't know if this is a legitimate catch for Nuzlocke, but I'm gonna say it is for now and sound off in the comments if you think otherwise. Anyways, moving into Reflection Cave, we find this Krikatot, which we can catch, but we don't, which is definitely a decision, an informed decision at that as well. Also, I'm gonna show every weird and wacky Horde encounter. Even this one, where we kill him with sewage. Moving into Shallow City brings new sights, and Tiano giving me this weird ass rock. Okay buddy, I guess I'll put this into my back pocket. On to the Tower of Mastery. Wow. We meet this guy, who I'm way too stubborn to admit that this little rock was in fact found by Tiano. And after some lengthy dialogue, <coughs> we get to battle Serena. Well after I formally accept her offer that is. <coughs> sure we can battle. Purr. This battle pretty much went to plan, other than me not switching out my 4 times weak Pokemon against a grass type. Like, what am I doing here? So after we beat Serena, our eyes are set on the real prize in this town, the gym. And this calls for a montage. And with the path laid out for us, it's time to challenge Corinna for real this time. Leading with a Weeping Bell was a tough one for me. We had a particularly strong weakness to grass types, so I had to do some tactical switch ups, bringing in Shiftry. Bringing Shiftry in allowed us to beat the Weeping Bell with two faint attacks. The Breloom was next, and it was certainly a challenge because of the whole grass type team weakness thing. So we brought in the big guns. And with that, the Breloom was as good as dead. Wait, what? You can't do this to me. Switching for Alligator was my next best hope, but after a super potion, this battle seemed to be heading in an unfavorable direction. Luckily, Chubster knows Ice Fang, which can take care of the Breloom. So what's next then? Another grass type? For fuck's sake, man. We tried to hit the Meganium with the now patented Ice Fang, but it was all for nothing. Meganium took Chubster out, and it was the end of the road for our Alligator Pokemon. It's Hurry 7s in the comments. Bringing in Shiftry was realistically my only hope now, and fortunately, this faint attack was strong enough to knock out the Meganium. But surely there can't be any more grass type Pokemon. Well actually you'd be right this time. Now this battle was on easy mode. With a muddy water here and a muddy water there. Wait, what type Shiftry? There are more grass types. Well luckily he's also a dark type. And even more lucky that I'm a gambler and know that I'm actually here in the diagram, allowing me to roll first, killing her Shiftry. And with the Seeking as her last, that wraps up a W for Team Harry. And all it took was the sacrificial alligator putting it all on the line to save his friends. You'll never be forgotten, King. Anyways, Psyduck, welcome in, my dear friend. Mm -hmm. 